aren't you in bed? I lost something. Did you take something out of this box? No, I didn't. Hey, Dad, did you take something out of this box? No, I didn't, and you march yourself right back up to bed, young man. Yes, sir. Now, what do you suppose happened to that dumb old pet snake of mine? <laughs> Things kids will think of to keep from going to bed. Snake! <laughs> check for $1,000. All righty. And here's your receipt, Mr. Wilson. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, Mitchell, we have bought ourselves a piece of income property. Oh, you didn't buy that property, gentlemen. You stole it. You really think so? Believe me, if the little old lady that owns that property didn't need the money, you wouldn't have gotten it for anywhere near the price. That's the one thing that kind of bothers me about it, uh, taking advantage of a, of a little old lady. Oh, well, uh, now, now, Mr. Mitchell, it's not as though she didn't want to sell. Why, of course not, Mitchell. If we hadn't come along, somebody else might have offered her even less. Well, maybe you're right. Well, it's been a real pleasure doing business with you, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bauer. Come along, Mitchell. Hello? Well, I finally sold that broken-down old house for you, Mother. <laughs> I still don't understand how you were able to get that house on Southgate Road so cheap. Well, honey, the little old lady needed the money. I don't know. Remember the used car you bought from that other little old lady a few years back? <laughs> Take it from me, Alice. I can guarantee that this house has never had a head-on collision or had its speedometer turned back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Wilson? Sergeant Mooney would like to see you. Well, Sergeant Mooney, what a pleasant surprise. Hi, Sergeant. Good afternoon, Mrs. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell? You want me, Mooney? George, your car is blocking a driveway. <laughs> it is? Hmm. But that's my driveway, Mooney. <laughs> that's what I told him, Mr. Wilson. That doesn't make any difference, George. The law says that no vehicle can be parked on a street in such a manner as to deny access to a private driveway. But it's my driveway, you fathead! And this is my book of tickets, you already. Why, I... Uh, oh, I'll go move it. I, why aren't you up chasing real criminals? Because I've got other things to do, and I won't be bothering you for a while. Well, good. <laughs> what is it? Wouldn't you like to know? No, I wouldn't. All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, you know that old haunted house over on Southgate Road? Some fast-talking real estate agent sold it to a couple of unsuspecting boobs as income property. Can you imagine that? Income property? <laughs> you couldn't pay someone to live in that place. <laughs> uh, Sergeant Mooney, it might interest you to know that Mr. Wilson and I are the two unsuspecting boobs. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, Wilson, you're not the one that... Uh, oh, 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 oh. And for your information, Mooney, it was an excellent buy. Right, Mitchell? I hope so. <laughs> Haunted house. <laughs> How ridiculous can you get? Do you mean it has real ghosts? Well, I'd like to have a dollar for every report we've had about eerie lights and sounds coming out of the place at night. That's why they want me to keep an eye on the place. Sergeant Mooney, don't tell me you believe in ghosts. Oh, of course not, Mrs. Mitchell. But you just try to change people's minds when they get a screwball motion in their head. Oh, dear. Who'd want to live in a house with a reputation like that? Keepers, I would. <laughs> now, don't you worry. We'll find somebody. Oh, of course you will, George. Maybe there's a ghost somewhere with money that needs a larger place. <laughs> now, now, just a minute. That deal we made wasn't really legal anyway. No, the, the house was misrepresented to us. Right. Come along, Mitchell. You too, Mooney. We're not going to be bamboozled by any real estate sharpie. Wow, we... We tell me here's I own half of a haunted house. Oh, Tommy! <laughs> Another thing, young man. Did you ask Junior here if the house...
house was haunted? Oh, no, but... Uh... Or did Junior say the house was not haunted? Well, no, of course he didn't, but... Well, then what's all the argument about? That's telling him, Mother. <laughs> Jim! Again? Mrs. Bowers, your son completely misrepresented that old house of yours, and you know it. Furthermore, we want our money back. 150 against nothing. I really blitzed you that time, son, didn't I? <laughs> the fact remains we wouldn't have bought the house if we'd known the circumstances, Mrs. Bowers. Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. Business is business. And there's nothing in this, in this deposit receipt Junior gave you that gives any guarantee against ghosts. Is there now, Sergeant? Hmm. Looks that way, all right. Oh, wait a minute. Whose side are you on anyway, Junie? <laughs> the law side, George, and I'm afraid you haven't got a chubby leg to stand on. <laughs> oh, come on, Mitchell. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Well, Mr. Wilson, what do we do now? There's only one thing to do, Mitchell. Prove that ridiculous story about the house being haunted is so much hogwash. Now you're talking. And a fat lot of help you were, Mooney. <laughs> oh, now, just a minute, George. Didn't I keep that sweet, innocent little old lady from beating you up? Ha, 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 Don't even joke about it, Mitchell. Oh. Well, I know we agreed before that the furniture is pretty run down. Everything looks sort of drab. But you know, the first thing we should do, Mitchell, is repair this staircase. Oh, yes. Yeah, put a new banister here. And... <laughs> Dennis, what are you and Tommy doing over here? We came over to help you find the ghost. We climbed in through a basement window. What are you doing with those Halloween masks? If we run into a ghost, we figure we'll scare him first. Oh, for <laughs> heaven's sakes. All right, Mitchell. Let's get back to what we were discussing. I think we should get rid of all this old furniture, put on some bright new paper, and paint the whole place. Well, frankly, Mr. Wilson, I'm more interested in getting rid of these haunted house stories. Cheapers, Dad. Maybe they don't want anybody living here. They? Who's they, Dennis? The ghosts! Oh, boy, spirits are nothing but a figment of the imagination. Sure, Mr. Wilson. Come on, Tommy. Let's go look for a ghost. Okay, Dennis. <laughs> the yard's not in too bad shape, Mr. Wilson, with your green thumb. Ah, oh, you really think so? I don't know. A lot of work, Mitchell. Yes, Mitchell? Yes, what? Well, you just tapped me on the shoulder. I just what? Oh, now, Mitchell, this is no time to be playing games. Mr. Wilson, I tell you, I didn't. Well, I distinctly felt a tap on my shoulder. No, no ghost in there. I'm going to go take a look in the kitchen a minute. Oh. Come on, Mr. Wilson. Let's go look for secret passages. Well, uh, there are no secret passages, I assure you, Dennis. I'm not Dennis, I'm Tommy. <laughs> Take a look around outside. Oh, all right, Mitchell. Oh, 
Janice, don't ever do that. You forgot your umbrella. Well, I, it, it's not raining. It might. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, Dennis, look at the swell dust. Keepers, is it ever? Gee, Dennis, you think ghosts can read? Sure they can, Tommy. <laughs> Man, that should scare some mean old ghost all right. And how. Even scares me. And I help make it. Come on, Tommy. Let's go see if there's anything scary upstairs. <laughs> Boy, look at this bed with a ceiling over it. That must be there because the roof leaks. <laughs> Heck, there are no old ghosts around here either. Maybe they only walk around after it gets dark. <laughs> sure are lucky. When I try to do that, Mom catches me and sends me back to bed. <laughs> Nope, no old ghosts under there. You know, Dennis, I bet you this old house isn't really haunted at all. That's okay, Tommy. Then Dad and Mr. Wilson won't have any trouble running it. <laughs> <laughs> starts to rain. But what about the ghost? Well, I think he'll keep until our next visit. Okay. He seemed kind of cranky anyway. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> My son who talks to ghosts. <laughs> Nothing quite like a child's imagination, right, Mitchell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. My hat. kept going, ooh, trying to scare us, Herman. Come on, Dennis. It was more like, ooh. Alice. Oh, I was listening to your son telling ghost stories. <laughs> He's becoming quite a raconteur of the supernatural, isn't he? Well, I am not amused. That child's imagination is so fired up, he actually believes he talked to a ghost this afternoon. Well, honey, it's only natural to a child of his age. Well, he's never done it before. Well, his father's never owned half a haunted house, either. <laughs> oh, incidentally, Mr. Wilson and I are sleeping over at the house tonight. Oh, dear, must you? 
Now, isn't that funny? Mr. Wilson asked the same question. <laughs> I figure it's the only way we'll ever find out what's causing those wild tales about the house. Well, now let's see. You'll need um, a blanket, some sheets, some towels, soap, <laughs> Honey, hold on, hold on. All we're taking over is a sleeping bag, a thermos, a flashlight, and some candles. That's all. All right. Well, what time does the ghost hunt start? At the stroke of 12? <laughs> no, we thought we'd sneak over about 10 after uh, you know who is sound asleep. <laughs> and that's not all, Herman. If we don't figure out a way to make that ghost move away, my dad and Mr. Wilson are going to lose all their money. My mom says my dad loses all his money at the races. <laughs> well, maybe you could scare him. People don't scare ghosts, Herman. Ghosts scare people. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Tommy. Remember that movie, The Spirit's Revenge? Boy, do I. I had another swell nightmare about it. Just the other night. Well, remember how the good ghosts got together and scared away the bad ghosts so we'd go haunt someplace else? See, Smarty. So what? Where are you gonna get the good ghosts? We'll be our own ghosts, Tommy. All we have to do is put on those sheets we used last Halloween. Not me, Dennis. I got a sheet. Jeepers, Tommy. Ghosts can't hurt you. You know it, and I know it, but does that old ghost know it? Jeepers, <laughs> Tommy, I never thought you'd be chicken. He didn't even sound like a very mean ghost. My sheet's even clean. You're too little, Herman. But I'm not chicken. Who's chicken? <laughs> You're chicken. All right, I'll go, Dennis. But I won't like it. I'll give you a dime if I can go too, Dennis. Herman, I already told you. A dime? A whole dime. I never met a ghost before. All right, Herman, it's a deal. Hot dog. I bet my sheet's wetter than yours. We got a new wash. I'll go soak your head. <laughs> now listen, fellas. This is what us good ghosts got to do tonight. What is it now, Mr. Wilson? You're snoring. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, I have never snored in my life. Until I distinctly heard a snore. What is it? Oh, Mitchell, something's coming down the front walk. Let's get out of these bags. Yes. Throw that over his head when he comes in. Oh, that's a good idea. I just hope it's a he or a she and not an it. <laughs>
Why the hell are you doing here? We're having afternoon tea. <laughs> what are you doing here? Investigating a report that some strange lights are coming out of this place. It's been our flashlights. We're trying to track down these ghost stories. And so far, all we've tracked down is one nosy policeman. Oh, no, you're just wasting your time. These stories are simply started by someone in that stag. Well, I don't know, Mooney. There must be some good reason for them. Oh, come now, George. Don't tell me you're beginning to believe in ghosts. Oh, don't, don't be ridiculous. Of course not. Uh, that's one of the ghosts we don't believe in. Logical explanation. Could be the wind blowing through the eaves of the house. Of course, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, he hasn't worn it since he shot himself in the foot last year. <laughs> I suggest you look upstairs, Sergeant. Me? Why me? Well, you're a policeman, aren't you? That doesn't give me any authority over ghosts. <laughs> then I think we all better look around. I'll take the upstairs, Sergeant. You look down here, and, and Mr. Wilson, you go to the basement, okay? <laughs> Let's draw a straw, see who goes first time. <laughs> accomplishments. A gentleman of leisure, you might say, who has been residing in the basement of this charming edifice for the past several years. <laughs> Mitchell, we found our ghost. And uh, now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, I believe that's the 1222. 1222 what? The 1222 freight going south. Because of a touch of sinus condition, contracted in your damp basement, together with these constant interruptions, I have decided to winter in Florida. <laughs> Adieu, gentlemen. <laughs> and may you show a little more consideration to your next tenant. <laughs> Film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.